Here's another variation of the horse to bow stance. We're going to add a lunge at the end. So you'll notice I've taken a double shoulder width stance. I'm going to apply the same rules that you learned in the horse to the bow stance by transitioning on the heel of the foot and on the foot that does not have the weight. That helps in the transition. So I shift off of the, the foot I'm pointing towards as I make my transitions. Remember, the crown of the head stays up really tall. And then as we get used to, once again, how to work into our bow to horse, we're going to go ahead and add in and end a little pivot on the ball of the foot this time and take a lunge. Drop it back down. Hit that double shoulder width horse stance. Move into your bow. Then go on the ball of the foot. Square up the shoulders and hips in the direction you're turning and perform a lunge. Once again, crown of the head is up. Pivot on the heels to get into your bow stance, then finish on the ball. That actually makes about a shoulder width stance in the direction that you're going to. Instead of being on a tightrope, then your feet will have a little bit of width to them to help create a more stable base. So now this stance is going to add in a little bit of a pump into the legs by adding the additional lunge at the end. You'll also notice I'm dipping a little deeper when I hit to my center spot on my horse stance also. Once again, just trying to burn a few more calories and get the thighs nice and strong. Enjoy.